Welcome everyone to this edition of Orient Outreach. I'm Penny Schultz and we have some wonderful guests with us today. Charles Haskin and Dr. Joe Mastro Mateo. They're here from the Orion Veterans Memorial and they want to share some of the upcoming events with you today. Gentlemen, it's so good to have both of you here. Well, thank, thank you for you. having us, Penny. I loved how both of you were assisting each other as we were getting ready and I just think that's wonderful how people will engage with one another in the community in the same way. Yeah, absolutely, especially us veterans that we try to take care of each other. I see that. It's a beautiful thing. So tell us about the event that's coming up on uh, Thursday, right? Thursday. Okay. Yeah. You, you want to go? Go, no, go ahead. Yeah. It, it's the National Day of Prayer, and we haven't had this in a couple of years. Uh, and this year we're trying something new. We're having it at 12 o'clock instead of 7 or 7.30 in the evening. And we're hoping that people can take off uh, from their work and they come over on, at their at their lunchtime, excuse me, and uh, uh, participate in the National Day of Prayer. By the way, the National Day of Prayer goes all the way back to 1795. Incredible. After the Revolutionary War, George Washington started this, but he didn't call it the National Day of Prayer. It was called a day of of, of uh, Thanksgiving and fasting. And it carried through for quite a few years. They never really got down to pinning it down to a certain day of the year, though, until 1980s, when President, <coughs> excuse me, Ronald Reagan, said it shall be the first Thursday in May every year, and that really crystallized the uh, National Day of Prayer. I'm so glad that we honor the National Day of Prayer this way. And how exciting to be at the Veterans Memorial. Charles, will you be there? Absolutely. Our, the VFW Post 334's Honor Guard will be there posting the colors and giving the support to that day. I think we're going to have five different churches involved. Is that true, Joe? Yes, that's true. Yep. And who's helping coordinate that? I heard Brian Burney. Yes, uh, Brian Burney of the United States Marine Corps. That's pretty exciting. It is. I just hope we get the attendance because we don't want to we don't want to have to cancel this in the future which uh, it's it was hard for people to come right from work a, a, after work. So we're trying 12 o'clock this year. I think that's a wonderful idea and I heard it's on Facebook so people can find out more information and we're just asking them to come to the Veterans Memorial and be a part of this celebration on Thursday, May 5th yes. at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. That's right. outstanding. I heard some kids are coming from St. Joseph's Church. I didn't hear this but I'm glad to hear the good news. Yeah, yeah and it's beautiful. Uh -huh. And when you community all support and their prayers for us on Thursday because it gives better weather than we're having today with all this rain. So we're hoping for a nice dry day that day. I heard it's supposed to be a beautiful day. Yeah. We're hopeful for that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's always nice when the community comes together in prayer. We know God's going to answer our prayers. So Absolutely. this is so good Absolutely. that we're becoming together and we're honoring a tradition mm -hmm. for our nation as well. Yep. A lot Very of patriotism in that. That's true. Very true. Now there's another event that's coming up, I heard. The Memorial Day Ceremony. Mer Memorial Day Ceremony. It's going to be on May 30th at 1.30 in the afternoon. And at that we'll have keynote speakers. And uh, Memorial Day is, <coughs> excuse me, is different than the um, Veterans Day. Veterans Day, we are honoring all veterans. On Memorial Day, we're remembering those that gave their life for this country. And uh, at the Lake Orion Memorial, we have, oh, I think we go back to the First World War, or, or earlier. Civil War. Civil War. Civil War veterans are buried, mm -hmm. or not buried there, but have bricks there or memorized on plaques there. And we try to get everybody who had passed since Civil War till now uh, on, on our plaques in the, in the center of the memorial. It's a very beautiful place and people go there to remember their loved ones who fought for our country. Um, we have freedom because of them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very. The uh, area that they're in uh, is called the Pathway to Peace. We're looking for that ever elusive 
peace in the world, so we named it Pathway to Peace. That's very fitting, yeah. Dr. Joe. And we have hundreds of engraved bricks with their names on it. Can people still purchase bricks for their loved ones? Oh, absolutely. We have three sizes, one four by eight, which goes for 125, uh, eight by eight, which goes for 250, and a big one, 16 inches by 16 inches with engraving for $1,000. That's such a wonderful way to honor loved ones and also some support the Veterans Memorial. Yeah. And of course that money goes towards the preservation of the memorial itself, which it seems like we're, we're always coming up with wonderful ideas which cost money and we reach out to our supporters for donations. That's fantastic. You wanted to add something as well, Charles? Yeah, because a key point is, is through donations it keeps the memorial running. It doesn't mm -hmm. get any federal or state support or even local. That mm -hmm. uh, everything there is from our community, donating, and the bricks are one way we can put the donations in. And people put bricks in, they're not necessarily from Lake Orion. They could be from anywhere in the state of Michigan. You have a veteran in your family, you want to honor them instead of going over, say, they live, they were buried out in Jackson. They, you could turn around, put a brick there, and there's a place locally you could visit and do that. I know I have my father-in-law, he's from uh, Redford, Michigan, and we have a nice size brick there for him after That's his beautiful. passing. Yep. Should we visit the website, the Veterans Memorial website? Oh, yeah. yes. And we'll find out more information about that opportunity to be a part of the brick program? Right. Okay. And, well, it is right now. If you go to orionveteransmemorial.com, you can, you can uh, select what you want. There. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, that's so important that everyone come together in the community and honor our veterans in this way. Yes, yes. I well, heard there's going to be a run also. Oh, yes. Let's talk about that. Well, there's going to be two runs. Oh. One's a 5K and the other is a five mile. Oh, my goodness. And uh, thanks to uh, our supervisor, Chris Barnett, mm -hmm. he has worked very diligently about that run. And uh, it's a good money maker for the preservation of the memorial also. And do you have to run or can you walk or push somebody in a stroller? You don't have to run. Okay. You can, we've, had, we've had a combination of all of the above. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Not, not only walkers, but it's also across all age groups also. So mm -hmm. it's not just limited to a small group of people. It's open to the whole community. That's fantastic. Yeah. And where will that run start? Do we know the route, just the general you know, route? They, they have changed it yeah, a little bit. Uh, okay. I think one year they started downtown Lake Orion. Right. Mm -hmm. But they had to come across 24 and they've been trying to keep it on one side of the road. I can see so, why. So, so nobody can go across. But I do, I'm not aware of where they're starting the run this year. So we'll reach out to right. Supervisor Chris Barnett and we'll look at the Orion Township website and we'll find they'll, out more information. They have all the good details well. there, yes. I see a lot yeah. of advertisement, a lot of signs. So I'm sure you'll have oh, great yeah. support. Oh, yeah. We've had. Uh, fantastic support in the run. This is all Supervisor Chris Barnett's idea mm -hmm. and I praise him for it because not only does it add uh, interest in, uh, in running but also a uh, show of uh, patriotism Yes, and, uh, and, it's a, and it's a good money maker going to, towards the preservation of the memorial. That's fantastic. I know it's one of Chris's favorite projects and partnership that he works on with right. the Orion Veterans Memorial. Well, he has a good reason to be proud of that memorial because mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of different memorials across the state. This memorial is pristine compared to the way these other ones are. It's beautiful. Uh, once we get the memorial up, it's you, you find it any other place. They put a memorial up, then they just kind of walk away from it, and uh, you know, Mother Nature comes back and overtakes these oh, memorials. Yeah. But you see, that our memorial is the volunteers that maintain it on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Our park manager, Bob Watros, he's out there every day making sure such a that kind is man. such a beautiful park. Yeah. I see um, Bob out there a lot. He's what about a gift oh, he is. We, we yeah. all do. Yeah. He's been doing that for 20 years. Yep. Yeah. I mean, he's taken this wonderful project under his arm and treated it like a little baby. and. Uh, I don't think there's a weed in the grass. I'm and, sure of it. And uh, 
he just he, he takes that to bed with him. It's yeah. so beautiful. <laughs> I'm I'm glad he's committed. Um, so many other people are just engaged in this, and it's the patriotism of the whole event and the happenings that take place. We honor our country and our heroes, and it's That's a beautiful it. time for us to come together and celebrate that and remember that as well. That's right. Absolutely. And dur during the year, the community have different there are different events we have. You know, the current ones, the Memorial Day. Then during the summer, we have what's called the Cothworth event, where you can come down and meet some different veterans and that and see what we're all about. Then we have a Veterans Day ceremony. Um, we also have, at the Memorial, a Victory Garden, where we turn around and put vegetables in there, just like they did back in World War II. Oh. And uh, so we have a lot of people from the community come out and get the fruits of that Victory Garden. That's beautiful. And over there. So, coffee with a vet. Tell me yep. a little more about that. Well, that's usually held in, in the month of August. Okay. And there we have coffee and some donuts set up for people in the community to come out and meet the veterans of the area and see if there's any other veterans in the area that would like to come out and join the VFW Post 334. So, we, we do that, and it's usually a pretty well attended uh, event. And uh, I'm trying to think, what else do we got at the memorial? Well, we have uh, a meeting place for the uh, 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 Project Brotherhood Resolve, and this is by uh, 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 this. This just kind of came up out of nowhere, where this veteran wanted to remember the uh, the uh, veterans who didn't make it, mm. who died, and so forth. And uh, that was out of the blue, but uh, we welcomed that kind of, in, of interest. And we, uh, they have a 22-mile uh, ruck march. And a ruck march, if, in case you're not familiar with that, they're carrying their, their gear, their, their rifle, but uh, we don't have that. We just have them walk it, because a lot of them do it with their children even. And that's from the memorial all the way to Lapeer, north of Lapeer. Incredible. Yes, yeah. And this is that, a ruck march. Ruck, R-U-C-K. Yeah. When Ruk. will that take place? That that takes, we start right at the memorial, or they do. The date. Uh, it's usually in s September, the first week, uh, one of the two Saturdays in September. We'll look forward to that. Please do because, mm -hmm. well, I don't know if everybody wants to get up at five o'clock in the morning <laughs> on Saturday, but if they do, they're welcome to be, be part of it. I like that. But a good place to go see what activities are available at the memorial is their website. They try to keep all the current things and the future ones, all the dates and times that will be located out there. That's fantastic. Very, well, very true, Chuck. We're, we're, we might be the only memorial that has, I shouldn't say the only one, but pretty near the only one that has five ceremonies a year. And it starts with the National mm -hmm. Day of Prayer, mm -hmm. the Memorial Day ceremony, 9-11, we have a ceremony yeah. for that, uh, Veterans Day, that, that the weather is usually too cold, so we have that inside. And we have a Pearl Harbor Day, and that's too cold. We usually have that inside mm -hmm. also. Very few memorials can top that. Right. We're very proud of that. This is all put together with volunteer help, the whole, the whole shot and caboodle. You have a board that supports your vision too, is that right? Oh yes. Tell we, us a little bit about that. We meet once a month and uh, 12 months a year. We've been doing that for years. Mm -hmm. We started this 27 years ago, and uh, uh, not uh, not one of the volunteers ever asked for money. I like that. We all think that the reward they get is much more worth more than money. But the board is made up of the community. Yes. Uh, different uh, professions in the community bring different aspects to the board. And um, who's who's your chairman of the board now? Myself. Oh, you're still chairman. Okay, I'm still, I'm still chairman. Okay. I like that. Fantastic. <laughs> Stay chairman of the board. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I um, when you came in today, I told you both how handsome you looked, oh, and it's you. nice to see you in uniform, and so proud of being in uniform. Thank you, Penny. 
and I noticed you have a poppy on your lapel. Can Absolutely. you tell us a little bit about that? Well, it's actually starting this weekend, our auxiliary will be out there at uh, different places, mainly at the uh, Bass Pro. Uh, we start handing out their poppies. The VFW Post itself will start a week from now. Uh, I think it's on 13th, 14th, and 15th. Then the following week after that, that uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And you'll be in the roadways. We'll be in the roadways. We'll mm -hmm. be at Kroger stores. We'll oh, be good. at Ace. We'll be at uh, let's see, Tractor Supply. We'll be at Sam's Club. We'll be over at Bass Pro. So we get we try to get our guys as best as possible off the streets where mm -hmm. it's the safest place for them. But uh, for those two weekends, it drives all the donations that VFW Post 334 receives, where we can do all the programs that our post does. So it's big, big, the big enabler for what we do. And by things that we do, uh, recent things is we just sponsored a shelf at the fish organization there in Oxford. Good. For one year, we paid to have that shelf stocked and uh, helps them there. And then we had a down in, in Oxford, uh, the fire department, we gave them uh, $5,000 towards their uh, program they were just starting at the time and through other community efforts. Um, they've raised quite a bit more money based on what we did. But the, uh, their, the fire department is going around to all the seniors and disabled mm -hmm. uh, people in the area. One, to verify that the smoke alarm is running in their home. Mm -hmm. If it's not, they will could be a battery problem. They'll put new batteries in it. Or it could be over 10 years old and needs to be replaced. And they'll replace it for free. And, and they'll put all the labor. The Oxford Fire, fire department. department. Yeah, Oxford okay. Fire Department. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a big announcement here this past week that through the all the donations get, and then total somewhere I would think right now around fifteen thousand dollars was donated. They had another group group come in and matched it. So it really gave mm -hmm. them the, the the funding they needed to make that program happen. And we need to be aware that we have to do these things um, as homeowners, property owners. Absolutely. But how nice that it's being partnered right, through agencies and the fire department. Absolutely. But Should they get a hold of the Oxford Fire Department to find out more information? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, they call them there. But that's an example of the, the donations we get through doing our buddy poppies, mm -hmm. of the money we spend back into the community. And uh, so every, every year we spend... We raise uh, somewhere between forty and fifty thousand dollars. Then we go out and spend that forty to fifty thousand dollars on different, either veterans or community programs. And, Thank you uh, so much for telling us about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm glad you're proudly wearing your poppy. Uh, always. Absolutely. Always. Have we covered what you were hopeful to talk about today, or is there anything else? And that pretty well covers it. I think Chuck let, let, uh, overlooked something very important. VFW Group 334, with, which is what he's referring to, was the most uh, <clears throat> giving VFW Group in the nation. Oh. And we raised more money in, in one month than any other VFW Group ever. Congratulations. And, and that took a lot of, a lot of work on the VFW a lot, 334. Mm -hmm. yep. A lot of hours for a lot of members. Wow. I'm very glad to share that news with our viewers. It's a community engagement. We all want to be a part of what the Orion Veterans Memorial represents, yep. and that's our hometown heroes. Gentlemen, thank you so much. We will be out there on Thursday for the National Day of Prayer and help Wonderful. spread the word about the run at the Veterans Memorial as well uh -huh. as the ceremony on Memorial Day. Well, thank you, Wonderful. Penny. Thank you, Penny. Thank you so much, gentlemen. It's been a joy to talk with both of you today. It's been our pleasure, I'm sure. So I hope you enjoyed this edition of Orient Out Outreach. I'm Penny Schultz. Thanks for joining us. Bye for now.